The Simscape add-on libraries contain advanced components and effects. For example, there are more comprehensive blocks that would make our diagram easier to read. Many of the blocks in the add-on libraries have additional parameterization options that make it easier to assign realistic values based on data sheets. There are additional physical effects such as efficiency losses and thermal dependency that are implemented in the add-on libraries. And finally, using the Simscape add-on libraries enables multi-body simulation. I'll now switch over to the model and show you some examples. Here is our hydraulic lift model. We're going to enhance a number of these systems using the Simscape add-on libraries. You can see them here below Simscape. First, we'll look at the custom valve. If we look at the custom valve, we used variable area orifices to model each of the connections between the different ports. In Sim Hydraulics, there is a library of valve models that we could use in order to model this block. What I'll do is I'll go back up to the top level and we will substitute in a standard valve for the custom valve that we had here. Now when I go into the subsystem you can see that we have used a standard four-way directional valve to model those connections. And you can see that there are a number of parameterization options available to us using this standard valve. If we go into the custom actuator you can see that we used a number of blocks to implement this double acting hydraulic cylinder. Sim Hydraulics has a set of hydraulic cylinders including additional physical effects. So we could go and replace this custom, a custom actuator with a standard actuator. And here you can see the double, action, the double acting cylinder from Sim Hydraulics that includes the, different, um, the, different, the two different sides, the hard stop parameters, and the initial conditions. Going back up to this level, we can go down into the electrical system and see how we implemented the motor and the wheel and axle block. If we look at the add-on library Sim Electronics, you can see that there are a series of there are sets of different types of actuators that we could include. And if we look at Sim Driveline, there are sets of gear models that we could use. So what I'll do is I'm going to replace the motor with a standard motor model. Now when I go down into this library, you can see we've used the DC motor block, which again has a number of different methods for assigning different parameters and makes the diagram easier to read. And the rack and pinion block from Sim Driveline includes optional meshing losses and viscous losses as well. Finally, if we look at our load model, implemented in Simscape, it looks like this. We have a simple mass, damper, and ideal force source in order to model gravity. If we look at the add-on libraries, you can see that Sim Mechanics enables multi-body simulation. So if we replace the load with a scissor jack implemented using Sim Mechanics, Going into the library now, you can see that we have different links that are connected together using joints. This multi-body simulation gives us a three-dimensional visualization of our scissor jack. And we can use this uh, animation of the scissor jack to review what happens during the simulation. So you can see in each of these examples, we have been able to replace our, our foundation library models with libraries built using the add-on libraries to improve readability, give us additional parameterization options, and include additional physical effects. Here is a list of the Simscape add-on libraries and a list of some of the components that they contain. Simscape has a set of standard foundation libraries that have elementary components in these domains. You can also add domains and components using the Simscape language. With the add-on libraries, you get additional components and additional, other additional capabilities, such as the 3D animation in Sim Mechanics and different analysis functions in Sim Power Systems. When you use the Simscape add-on libraries, not all of your team members need to have licenses for all of the add-on products. You have the ability to share models that use the add-on products with other Simscape users, even if they don't have the add-on licenses. If you are a model developer who has a Simscape license and licenses for the add-on products, you can generate models using all of these products. When they are saved in restricted mode, other people in your team, the model users, can use them as long as they have a Simscape license. They don't need to have a license for the add-on products, they just need to have the product installed. This table shows you some of the things that you can do in full mode, where you have both the license for Simscape and the add-on product, and in restricted mode. In restricted mode, you can still do all of your regular changes to Simulink blocks. You can change the solver, 
but you can also in the Simscape blocks you can still change numerical parameters you can still replay the 3D animations from SimMechanic and use analyses in the Power GUI from SimPower Systems and you can generate code so there's quite a bit you can do even with even in restricted mode